At a security summit in Singapore, Defence Minister Li Shangfu outlines China's position and issues a warning. In essence, attempts to push for a NATO-like alliance in the Asia-Pacific is a way of holding regional countries hostage and heightening confrontation, which will only cause disputes and plunge the region into conflict. The US and China are jostling for influence in the region. They've been trading blame, accusing each other of provocative acts and the lack of dialogue. While many analysts say competition between the US and China has created uncertainties in Asia-Pacific, the main message we've been hearing at this summit is conflict isn't inevitable. But the situation does have to be managed. Delegates and analysts agree that conflict in the region would be devastating. The question is, how are you going to get that calibration right? Um, so I think that is where everybody is engaged in a little bit of guesswork because the opacity of uh, Beijing right now and the difficulty of communicating with Beijing uh, frankly means that trying to get the deterrent signal over is everybody's best guess. On Saturday, about 2,000 nautical miles away, a near collision at sea. The Pentagon says a Chinese vessel cut across the bow of a U.S. warship in the Taiwan Strait, where it was conducting a freedom of navigation operation with Canada. China says the U.S. Navy's presence in the strait was hostile. It comes a week after the U.S. accused a Chinese fighter jet of a dangerous maneuver in international airspace above the South China Sea. China considers self-governed Taiwan as part of its territory and has laid claim to much of the South China Sea. The best way is for other countries, especially naval vessels and fighter jets, to avoid such actions around other countries' territory. What's the point of going there? As we always say, mind your own business. Relations between the US and China are at their lowest in decades, and there's no sign this three-day conference has done much to improve them. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Singapore.